and my chef era. I'm thinking about titling this video slowly losing my mind while trying to cook. I'm 18 now and I still can't cook. Okay, I can cook when I want to and today I actually want to. I'm pretty good at baking because I can follow a recipe, but then I realized that cooking is literally the same thing. So I'm not sure what it is that I can't do. Today I'm gonna be making myself a three course meal from Trader Joe's. Let's see if I can do one of the most important adulting things. So I'm gonna be making spring rolls, egg drop soup, and blueberry cobbler. I'm not gonna tell you how I came up with that combination, Okay, I will. I've been seeing Fernando Ramirez making the spring rolls a lot in her videos, and I just think that would be fun. And then from that, I thought, well, what about egg drop soup? Because I love egg drop soup. And then blueberry cobbler, because my mom makes really good blueberry cobbler, and I figured I want to try it. Of course, I just dropped my phone. Um, So I'm going to be wearing my belt bag. I'm gonna be wearing my cardigan and it's buttoned, of course. Literally, uh, these are my new jeans from American Eagle I got yesterday for Black Friday. But look, this outfit is super cute. And then I'm gonna put on my Lulu. <laughs> cute. Oh, we can't forget the AirPods. Back. Gotta turn off my little lamp. There. I gotta fill up the bottle, like always. Oh wait, I have to start my car. Don't I? My camera is on its last leg, so I'll probably be using my phone in a little bit. Okay, I'm here. Tell me why I'm like super scared. Let's go grocery shopping. I low-key kind of hated it in there. It was so, so busy and I have anxiety, so that doesn't work. Anyway, I got chives, mint. If my camera dies, I'll just switch to my phone. It's about to die. These like toffee bites I'm about to eat. The little green tea mints. A pack of lip balm. This is like seven bucks and it's so pretty. I'm obsessed with lip balm, by the way. A ginger shot chicken stock a lemon and mangoes and blueberries i'm not gonna take those out but i do need to go to wegmans because it's right across the street because they didn't have some things that i needed so let's try a mint because all these at the checkout and i was like like they're in like such cute packaging wait how do i take the packaging off no but the the dude at the checkout also goes to app i was like or went to app but i was like slay we love that Okay, please do not. Oh, wait, it was on both sides, I'm stupid. Oh, there, okay, okay. They're so cute, yummy. Okay, let's try the lip balms. I'm literally gonna try every single one of them. They're sick. It's like really hot. I'm gonna turn the air on a little bit. I usually keep the air off because of like sound, but I can't. So this is Island Coconut, it's the purple one. I like that. My lips are gonna be so moisturized. This is Peaches and Cream. Okay, no, I don't like that one as good. Strawberry guava. I don't know, I think the coconut one is my favorite so far. Okay, shocker, my camera died. Wow, was not expecting that. This one's the mango. These aren't very like scented, I don't know. They're very good, but like not amazing. Vanilla bean, ooh, I like the vanilla bean. And then cucumber mint. I. They're not the best lip balms ever, but they're good and they were like, it was a great deal in my opinion. But let's try these toffee bites. I love toffee a lot. Delish, amazing. My first time shopping by myself at Trader Joe's. I didn't love the shopping process, completely honest. It's so crowded. My Trader Joe's is so, so, so small. So you can barely like even walk but I do love the product and I love the vibe in there. It's just there's so many people. So I'm gonna go to Wegmans now to get the rice paper, noodles, and cornstarch. And I think that's everything. And basil. I think that's everything I need that I will be going home 
Oh yeah, I totally forgot. I got a ginger shot. I don't know why I do this to myself because I buy it and I'm like, I have to drink it. This doesn't smell as bad. <coughs> Ew. Why do I do that to myself? I don't, I'll never know. Yeah, let's go to Legman's. Okay, I'm done grocery shopping. Let's go home. That was a nightmare. Okay, again, I am filming on my phone. The dogs are behind me. Hold on, let me put my AirPods. Maybe that will help. Perf. Okay, so I'm gonna do a full haul. I also got the mints, but I got this set of chapstick mint leaves, blueberries, chives. A lemon, a mango, and chicken stock from Trader Joe's. I spent twenty four sixty seven at Trader Joe's, which I felt was pretty good. It came with this super cute bag and some wagons. We got the rice paper, this big cucumber. cornstarch and the chili. So I'm gonna take like an hour probably until I start cooking. I'm tired that wore me out but I'm gonna put away the groceries and let my camera charge for about an hour and then I will go ahead and start dinner. Okay so I think I'm gonna do the spring rolls first because you have to cook the noodles in the paper, I think. So yeah, you have to cook the noodles. So, so that's what I'll be doing first. I'm gonna boil water. And my chef era ratatouille duck. I think I all of those. Oh wait, no, I have to boil the water first, duh. Okay, I got a big pot of water. We'll just do all of the noodles, honestly. I mean, there's no reason not to. Ooh, let's see what the soup needs. Change the angle a little bit here. Let's see what the soup needs. Okay, so bring the chicken stock to a simmer. Pour this whole thing of chicken stock in there. So let's see. So satisfying, huh? It smells like cat food. Um, and then bring it to a simmer. Okay. okay, look what we have. We have the sesame oil. So that has to come to a simmer though. Now we wait. Wait, I should start chopping vegetables, right? Yeah, then that's what I should do. I literally do not understand a word I just said. Oh yeah, okay. Let's go ahead and chop the veggies. I probably should use other veggies, but like I'm not a fan of like carrots and stuff like that at home again. I do have chicken, so I will be using chicken. That works. Oh my god, this is already getting stressful. I'm gonna get out a little cutting board. Let's do a cute little montage. Look at those nice pots of water and, well, oh my god, why does it look literally purple? That's so cool. It's, wow, but it looks purple. Holy crap, big cucumber. So, We'll cut the chicken, the bacon wrapped chicken. It's the best I got. We'll gently slice the chicken. Oh my God, it's so tough. This is a disaster already. I can hear the water boiling. Dang it, this is not how this is supposed to go. This is not gonna go well. Okay, both of my liquids are about to come to a boil. Uh-oh, the bacon. Let's just unwrap the bacon. Okay, we're done cutting that. I guess we got a little plate. 
I'm gonna put all of the chicken and like the topping on this plate. My water is about to start boiling. Okay, look, very cute. Shoot, that clip was seven minutes long. That's not good. water there's bits of cornstarch in the soup okay now I need to beat the eggs this was an awful idea beat three eggs okay let's see if this works Thick. I think I've did this completely wrong. I don't think this is gonna be very good. God, this is disgusting. There's bits of cornstarch, and then ugh. God, I totally screwed up with this one. This is sad. Anyways, let's try it. Got a bowl, got a ladle. Where's the ladle? Do we even have a ladle? I know we have a ladle. Um. Oh, here it is. This is. Maybe I didn't need to chop up the chicken. Okay, let's try it. It's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. You know, let's add some salt and pepper to this. Ew, there's like a clump of cornstarch in my throat. Adding salt and pepper. Okay, with the flavoring, it's not too bad. Maybe I didn't totally screw up with this one. That's not too bad. I'm gonna enjoy my soup and then get back to making the spring rolls and try to clean up a bit. Okay, look, okay, the, the brown stuff is obviously the pepper. Okay, it's not too bad. I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. All right, let me enjoy my soup. Okay, we are back and ready for round two of whatever this is. I couldn't tell you. So I'm gonna chop up some mango. And I have chicken and cucumber. Was this mango's name, Tommy? So funny. <gasps> Upstate's kicking off, Slay. Okay. How do I, how do I fucking cut kind of mango? Oh, shoot, this is. Stupid. No, that's not the right knife. I'm thinking about titling this video slowly losing my mind while trying to cook. So, yeah, the soup, maybe a five out of ten. I don't really remember what egg drops. I was supposed to peel this, wasn't I? Crap. I'm not peeling it. That's just too much work for me. Yeah, no, I tried, but it did not work. Is there a pit to a mango? Because I feel like there is, because I feel like I encountered something pit-like. Oh, wait, I think there is a pit in the mango. destroying this mango have I slaughtered enough of the mango hi spade spade is looking at me he's like who are you talking to and I'm like I don't know okay so let's cut the mango in strips some of it's gonna have skin, and you know what? That's just how it's gonna be. Is that the core? And a pit? Anyway, my camera battery's about to die, so I'm gonna cut back when I'm done with the toppings because my camera will die, and I don't want that, so. Okay, I'm listening to Taylor Swift, and I realize that if I peel it like this, 
it can make like noodles like cucumber noodles so that's what i'm doing attacking this okay look at the mango and cucumbers isn't that so aesthetic that's not this is very cute so okay i am about to make these spring rolls why am i a little bit nervous i don't know if i'm gonna come out good how many are in this oh wait yeah no i gotta dump the right the noodles actually not young they don't really taste like anything Oh my goodness, wait, this is weird. Okay. Ooh, let's get a serving bowl. We're gonna make 35 of these. Oh my goodness, stop. Spade is in the couch. So this whole the cucumber. So we have a little process here. We're gonna dip it, put it on the chopping board, and then, there, you go on a salt shaker. So, dip it in, and then I put the topping. So we don't have a lot of mango. So I'm gonna limit it's like a few pieces of mango few pieces of chicken a little bit of mint oh and then the chives a little bit of chive okay it's like full oh shoot it's like broken oh Roll it like a burrito. Wow, we made a spring roll. Wow, let's see. You know what? That's pretty good. More fillings next time. I like the chicken. Now I'm gonna make about 34 more of these or until I just run out of ingredients. And then we're gonna do, oh, I forgot the noodles too. Uh, There. I think it's two pieces of mango. Three pieces of mango. A itty bitty bit of chicken. Some more mint. And chives. So we'll put up the ends first. Take the side closest to you. Then wrap it like a burrito and Again, it's loose. You know, I'm Okay, these are the spring rolls. They're, they, I give them a 10 out of 10 out of taste, but looks can be improved, but. I am going to clean up, let my camera battery charge, and then bake the blueberry cobbler. And I'm done, but we're gonna clean all this up. Okay, so the final dish of the night is gonna be a blueberry cobbler. I am so tired, but I definitely am not gonna back down from the challenge now. So, we have to preheat the oven to 350, and then a nine by 13. What is a nine by 13 dish? I don't have it, I just don't know. This is probably fine, right? Probably. That's the dish we used to make everything else. Get the butter. Six tablespoons of butter. So, that's basically the whole thing, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that's basically the entire thing. Wow. Okay, I'll do each of like one tablespoon of spice. I cannot. It's each in one tablespoon slices. <laughs> I love that. Then the first thing I do 
It's out of the blueberries. Okay. And blueberries. So how many how much how many blueberries do I need? I need to start talking like that. Four cups of blueberries. Let's see, 18. So we don't have four cups of blueberries, but I'm literally just not. Oh my god, there's blueberries everywhere. Stop. Watch. So watch, watch, watch. I'm gonna all the blueberries. And then. See, baking is so much easier for me. I just, I don't know why. That's a third of a cup. Got that. Oh, lemon zest. Okay. I don't know what's wrong with me. Don't call me baby. Look at that. It's idiotic. Oh, you made me beautiful. Oh. A separate bowl. Combine the flour. I'm completely sober, so I honestly do not understand what has gotten into me. A cup of flour. I don't think this is a cup of flour, but we'll see. One third. Oh. Another third, and then that's one. A cup of sugar. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're gonna put in a tiny bit of self-rising flour. I feel like there's a little more flour than needed, but it's self-rising. This is so good. No, we use a cup of milk just for funsies. Okay, now the magic happened. So I drizzled the blueberries. This goes for 30 minutes. The cobbler is ready. I'm using my phone because my camera is sending the videos from, oh, please don't send it to her. Um, sending the videos from the camera to, I think it's ready. Cute. Why is it like that? Anyways. Okay, I think it's ready for me to cut. It looks weird from this angle, but. Okay, I'm gonna cut it and try it. It looks like pretty good, not gonna lie. It's still warm, oh. I should have used an all, or um, self rising flour instead. It's not bad, it's just really tart. Anyways, that is all for the vlog. Thank y'all for watching. This was, there's a blueberry literally right there. This was an experience. I don't think I'm very good at cooking, but I definitely got a lot of practice tonight. And I learned one recipe, the spring rolls that I will be using a lot more. But if y'all would like to subscribe, please consider doing that and liking the video. And I'll see y'all next time.